Hey everybody, this is Mr. Math Blog, and this uh, lesson is describing patterns. This is lesson 5-1 in our third grade book, so uh, all your lessons, don't forget, can be found at mrmathblog.com. So for our teachers, there's our common core strand, and our essential question is, what are some ways we can uh, describe a pattern in a table? So we're going to be given tables here. So here we go. Stanley loves sparkling water. He, uh, each package comes in four waters. So how many waters will there be in eight packages? So he's going to go to the store and buy eight packages. And so what we can do is we can describe a pattern using a table right here. So here's a table right here. Okay, so remember, each package contains four waters. So one way is to do this, you guys. Here's all the packages. One package, two package, three package, four package, all the way up to eight packages. We're counting these, the top uh, uh, row, by ones. And we're going to count the bottom row by fours because each package has four waters in it. So four plus four is going to be eight waters in this in two packages right there so in three packages I just go eight plus four eight plus four is twelve in four packages uh, twelve plus four is sixteen do you see what I'm doing I'm just gonna go this plus four is gonna get me twenty right there okay and then and then so in six packages I just keep adding four until I get to my desired result which is eight packages so thirty two bottles of water right there so each package contains four bottles and so after eight packages of water there's 32 bottles all together right there okay so here's another way describe a pattern in the columns right here so here's the table again right there so look for a pattern by comparing the columns columns go up and down think of a Colosseum this is how I remember Colosseum the columns go up like this and then rows go like this that's how I remember Colosseum the columns go up so these are the columns going up and down sorry if you can't understand that that's how I understand columns and rows. So we can multiply the number of uh, waters by four uh, to find the number uh, of waters that Stanley buys. So over here, look, here's three times four is 12. Four times four is 16. So Stanley's going to buy eight uh, packages. So eight times four, we can do that. So step two is we use the pattern to find out how many waters there will be in eight packages. Eight times four, if you know your multiplication table as well, is 32. And if you don't, you guys, I, you're going to make your math, I'm telling you, I teach high school math all the way through calculus, you guys, and AP statistics. Um, and and the students that are my strongest kids, they know their multiplication table. So if you don't yet, then I'm just telling you, you'll save yourselves a lot of headache later on. So just, just start trying to memorize those multiplication tables. I can't emphasize that enough. My, my stronger students uh, do so much better if they know their multiplication tables. It helps you in fractions. It helps you forever. Uh, so anyways, uh, so why was it important to know how many waters there were in one package? Well, we can use this knowledge uh, to use a pattern by adding four eight times because there's four in each package. Or we can use this to multiply eight times four because we knew he was going to buy eight packages. So that in either way, you get 32 waters in all those eight packages right there. Okay, let's try another one here. We're going to do the same, describe a pattern, then complete the table. Here we have Mrs. Peralta bought five packages of pencils. Each package has eight pencils. How many pencils did Mrs. Peralta buy? So here they give us a table right here. So in one package, she has eight pencils. In two packages, she has 8 plus 8, or 16 pencils. In three packages, it would be 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 8 again. And then plus that number, plus 8, would be 32. And then one more plus 8. So we can just go plus 8, plus 8, plus 8. And then finally, plus 8 after five packages right there. So that's what we're going to do first, you guys. We're going to uh, use addition. So describe a pattern. We're going to add eight pencils for each package right there. So if we do that, so here is 16 plus 8 will give us 24 pencils after three packages. So 24 plus 8 would get me 32. And don't be afraid to use your fingers, you guys. I use my fingers to add all the time. And I'm going to do it right now, you guys. 32 plus 8. I have eight fingers out, and I'm going to count. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So this is going to be 40 right here. So after five packages, uh, there's 40 right there, okay? So, uh, we can also use multiplication to describe a pattern. So, multiply the number of packs, so there's five packs here, by eight pencils in each pack. So, we're going to multiply the five times eight right there. 
So there's going to be uh, 5 times 8 or 40 pencils in each package. Okay? Addition is just a form of, uh, I'm sorry, multiplication is just a form of addition, you guys. It's just a repeated addition. 5 times 8 is adding 8 uh, 5 times. Okay? When you multiply uh, 5 times 8, you just go 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. That's the same as 5 times 8. So if you guys forget your multiplication tables, go ahead and use uh, your addition and just keep adding. So this lesson describes patterns by adding a constant number. The last one we added 8 plus 8 plus 8 five times until we get our desired result. Or we can multiply a number, of, uh, a number of times the desired result. So in this case, it was five packages right there. Okay, I hope this lesson helps, and, and I hope you're having a fantastic year. Take care, everybody.